Today's a very special day. It's the release day for my book, Preppy Kitchen Recipes for Seasonal Dishes and Simple Pleasures. I've been getting a lot of questions about the book, so I thought I'd give you a sneak peek, share some of the stories behind the book, and just show you what's inside. I wanna start off by saying thank you because I could not have made this book if it weren't for you. And in fact, I didn't make this book, we made this book together, to be honest, because everyone's support has meant the world to me. So many of you have pre-ordered the book already and I cannot thank you enough. If you haven't gotten a copy yet, you can get yours today, like actually in stores. I'm so excited for that too. I think it is so amazing that you could be walking through the aisles of a Costco or a Target, Barnes and Noble, any number of independent bookstores and see a copy of my book. It might be signed, I'll be signing thousands of them and pick one up, bring it home and start making recipes from it. It's like having a little bit of me in your kitchen and I am so excited for that to happen. And when you open this book, you'll find over a hundred recipes that you've never seen before. They haven't been on the blog, they're original to the book and the book itself is organized by the season. When we moved to Connecticut, I discovered the importance the seasons have. We lived in Los Angeles before where it's always like 72 and sunny. But here on the East Coast, winter is so real. Autumn is beautiful and something you look forward to throughout the year. And summer is this exuberant moment filled with amazing produce. So I wanted all of the recipes in the book to be true to the season they're in. Because when it's summertime, we're eating outside, I'm having picnics, I wanna take advantage of all the fresh stone fruit and produce that I can find at my local markets. But in the winter time, I'm not eating outside. I wanna have these wonderful cozy moments and like spices and apples bubbling away on the stove and just having air filled with the smells of the holidays as well as a lot of like delicious comfort food. So not only do you wanna have ingredients that you can find in that season at their peak freshness, but you want food that fits the vibe of the season. This book is really a celebration of that and a guide for you to make amazing food all year round. And it's not just recipes, I wanted to include some of the fun projects that you get to do in the summer, the spring, and the fall. So in the winter, I wanna show you how to make a wreath. In the summer, I wanna show you how to preserve fruits. I wanna show you how to pickle vegetables and do all the things that really make the season amazing. You might've seen my pressed flower shortbread cookies on the channel. I previewed that from the book. One of my favorite childhood memories is collecting wild flowers with my brother, pressing them in books, and then coming back and discovering them like months later. So I took that idea and we have these amazing orange shortbread cookies topped with pressed flowers, that's one of the projects in the book, and then sealed in there with a light orange glaze. As soon as you open this book, you're gonna discover a recipe that is just amazing, that's delicious, and that's totally easy to do. This, by the way, is an apple cake. So moist and amazing. It's covered in a browned butter maple frosting, which is mind-bendingly delicious, filled with apple butter, and the decoration is just a crown of sugared thyme, and it looks so beautiful. Like, it's just been like caught in a snowstorm and served up on your table, but it's easy to do, and it's delicious, and it uses things that you can get really easily. Oh my gosh, I'm in fall right now, because I was like, ooh, we're in fall, what can I make? <gasps> Toasted marshmallow sweet potato pie. This is so good. It's like all of the recipes that I have just been like fantasizing about making, like in a dream world, I put into this book. There's a lot of family recipes that have been passed down from my grandparents to my mom to me that I've kind of been saving for a special moment. There's things like avgolemono, which is a Greek lemon chicken soup, which is one of the most amazing things you could ever have in your life. It's like medicine in soup form. It just makes you feel better. It tastes delicious. Like it's a Greek recipe that I really cherish. If you watch this channel, you know that I love creamy things. So one of my favorite recipes growing up was flan. And I wanted to take a simple flan, which I have on the channel, and really put a twist on it with some of my favorite ingredients. So the flan has candied kumquats in it. And it's a candy kumquat uh, caramel that is mixed in and it's so good and a wonderful twist on a classic. One of the recipes is this Dutch oven chicken. It's like a one pot meal full of like fingerling potatoes, garlic, shallots. There's some briny olives in there and it is like so delicious. It just bakes for a long time and you open it up and it's like the most amazing chicken ever. Or, or 
I have a Scandinavian apple cake that my mom used to make for us on special occasions and it's like poached apples filled with this like meringue folded in with almonds and it's so like light and simple and like just perfectly sweet and it's one of my all-time favorites and I had to save it for the book. A lot of people ask like, where's your book? Where's your book? And I was waiting for the right moment for a book because I didn't want to just put a book out of recipes. If it's just a book of recipes, you can just go to preppykitchen.com and like find all the recipes that you love. There's hundreds there. I wanted the book to tell a story and to really be like a special object because it's gonna live in your kitchen, it's there forever, and I want you to like bake from it, to cook from it. I want it to be like splattered and covered in like flour and have like notes in the margins. And I want your like your son or daughter to have it later on and like say, oh, this was mom or dad's cookbook and have special memories of like the meals that you shared together. Ooh, a Greek leg of lamb. This is one of my favorite Sunday dinners that we had with my grandparents growing up. I remember piercing the leg, stuffing the garlic inside. It's full of like lemony flavors and rosemary and has those potatoes that are cooked in the rendered fat and so delicious. It's also like a really easy thing to just throw in the oven and then it's baking all day. You enjoy your time with your family. You pull it out and it's so special and delicious. I was really happy I got to share that recipe. One of the things I'm most excited about is the book tour. I'm gonna to be heading out of the kitchen for two weeks and going across the country to meet you. If you wanna say hello, hear me talk about the book and get your book signed, I'd love to see you there. I'll be going to Darien, Connecticut, Ridgewood, New Jersey, Manhattan, Atlanta, Georgia, Dallas, Texas, Los Angeles, Chicago, and I'll be ending it up back in Kent, close to home. So if you're near any of those places in October, I would love to see you. Check out the description box and sign up for an event.